Hey guys, hey guys wait, welcome back to, to Team Toys. Toys. Why do we do that? Okay, why do we do that? I don't know. Okay, so today we are going to teach you some things about horses, like how to why take care. Of my computer. I don't know how to care for your horse. Technically, a little bit. What do you, What do you want to call it? So yeah, um, technically. Take care of your horse. Some things you need to know about horses, basically. Here, um, um, okay, so you always need to make sure you do brush your horses Wait, in the right Wait, number order. one. Number one. <laughs> you always have to make sure you brush your horses in the right order or else it can get all mixed up. Like you do your, let's say you do your hard brush first and then you do your curry comb. That wouldn't and then, be right. And then you don't wipe away all your big ruffles, and they get all knotted and built in. And then that, they die. That your horse just looks all chunky, and chunky. if you ever want to sell him you know, or her. Yeah, that, mm, Yeah. It would be like. It would be really hard to sell it. It would be so, yeah. a bad conditioned LPS. <laughs> Basically. Okay. Look at Tom. So, um. Nothing. Okay. Okay. So, um, number. Wait, no. Okay. Tom so, is busy. So the order of the brushes. So the first one is the curry comb. Curry comb is first. Then, then the second, the one, second is, one is the hard brush. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I tried to tell the him. hard brush. I the should hard. know that the hard brush. But and then first, when the you get the curry comb, you like get all the dirt, and it just like comes up like. And then the hard up. brush like wipes yeah. away everything. But start, never, yeah, like start yeah. at the top, but Talk. never go like that. It can uh -huh. hurt the horse, like, and it's painful, and it can lose a bunch of hair, and it takes four years for their hair to grow back. FYI. This should be top ten. Yes, ways to care for your horse. So number two, <laughs> number two. Well, yeah, wait. The and then the fourth, fourth brush. Well, you comb up the hair, and then. The hoofs. Do you want to describe okay. the hoofs? Number two. This is Wait, number describe two. the hoofs. Okay, so say this was a hoof. Okay, so um, there is like this triangular thing in the it's middle. It's called a frog. Well, yeah, the frog. I call it a triangle thing. But and there's like this little triangle, and it's called the frog, of course. Yeah, I already said that. <laughs> and then um, you do not want. So you got your pick. Yeah, when you, you do not want to touch that part at all because it's very sensitive and it gets all the dirt out. And do not step behind your horse because it could be deadly. So. Okay, number well, two. Only if I have a really no, this big is, one. That was number two. Number three. Okay, you number do three. not want to know what I number three is. I have a really big one. Okay, tell. For number three. Okay, number so three. Um, this actually happened at my horse camp. So, my friend's horse, her name, well, her name's Mia, and her horse, Steel, well, she was taking a water break. And so, Steel, so the counselors Sorry. get on the horses, well, um... Counselors? Yeah, the counselors get on the horses oh. while, um, they're getting Sorry, the water I'm break. New. And, um, so we, me and Mia were just drinking our water, just watching the horses, and she was about to get on Steel. And she put Which her. Which is a horse. She put her um, foot in, and the horse just took off, and her foot was stuck in the stirrup. And so Did you she always drag? you always want to make sure, like you always want to go in front of the horse first, and be like, mm -hmm. okay, and like hold their nose and be like, one minute, I'm gonna get on you, so they don't know. Like if you're if somebody's holding them, and then you, they just feel something on the side of their body getting on them, they're like, oh. What is that? And they want to take off and run, like, yeah. like a swarm of flies or something. I yeah. I watched Honey Heart Sea and like Goldie, Goldie when she pats the horse, like a bunch of dust flies up. I'll have to show you. I'm sorry. Okay. She has three number horses. four. Number four. Do you have one? Because I have one. Okay. Um, I have one. You can tell it because I don't have any. I need to think. Okay, so another really big one is about your horse. 
um, knowing you're there again. So if you're tying your horse and you're about to go round it, you either want to, hey, um, like, one you, thing really quick. Sorry, I just don't want to interrupt. Um, can you make, like, a halter out of, like, rope? Or no? Or in do you have to way, just buy one? You should buy one because there's some big loops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll talk I'll to you about this one. later. I'll okay. 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 You finish your search. So, um... So, if you want to go around your horse, you either have to go about five feet or more around your horse. And because if you're like that, they can their kick band is pretty big, like four or five feet. And so, um, yeah. they're like, pew. Yeah. And so, um, or you want to put your hand above their butt like this. <laughs> I know that's kind of gross. And just like slide and walk. And then, or, yeah, so they know like, you're there. Or, like, say this was a horse, and just, like, pat them while you're, like, going around. Yeah, that's what Maybe. you do. Like, you yeah. just, like, pat them, and then you're, you're going around. Unless I your did horse that. Hates you. Unless your horse hates you. <laughs> but, um. Sup. That's Chicken Joe Bob. Chicken Bob. Chicken Bob Joe. Chicken Bob Joe. Um. So, anyway, yeah. Do you know what? Okay. Number five. Number five is, um. The tangle, Tangles one. So, um, first off, do not, she told me this downstairs, but do not, like, so when you're, like, combing your horse's mane, do not, like, do it tough, right? Do it, like. Yeah. Do not go, like. Don't. Don't. Because <laughs> it takes four years don't to grow back. That. Yeah. Because it takes get four years to grow back. That's really a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. I'd probably be dead, but, um, no, I won't, but, um, that's basically it, and I'll get a lot of knots, so, yeah. Okay, Look number five, here. do you know one? No, not number five, number, f oh, number six. six, do you know one? Because I know one. You can tell. Okay. You're the big horse expert over here, big horse expert over here. <laughs> You know pigs eat slop, right? Um, I actually have one opinion and advice real fast. You should get fly spray for your horse. Flies. And a fly love mask. horses. And a fly mask. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is something. we made this mistake and Seven some horses know how to untie their gates. Yeah. I've seen it before. Yes. Like in real life. So they know how to um, untie their gates. So when you put them in your pen, some some people do this, some people don't. If you're about to grab your horse, well, when you're um, dropping off your horse from back from riding or something, whatever, um, take your halter because people need halters unless they're My like... My cousin saved a horse from slaughter. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. So they... And so it was strawberry. A halter. And then like... Um, it's, they still have the chain and stuff wrapped around, but you can also wrap their halter around to, and then, like, just put a small knot in it, and it will help. It will help a lot. And then, like, when you're about to go get your horse, untie the halter, and you'll be right there. So if the horse even tries to get out, you can just hold the gate shut. So, like, yeah, and then you open it, and then you can put it on your horse, and then you're fine. So, yeah, that's... But those horse gates are kind of easy to get open because, you know, horses get smart while well, they are smart. Except for when the dirt's really high and then it gets mm -hmm. stuck and jammed. Okay, seven. Do you know one? Um, let me think really quick. Um, I already said don't be stained that. Um, go to either friends with horses or friends and horses. Okay, that's not a tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, I tell this them. isn't a sponsor. But okay, so when you're... Not sponsored. When you're cleaning <laughs> your horse's cage, well, well, not really. Cool. Never have a goat with a horse. I've seen it. It is not pretty. Tip eight. <laughs> Never have a goat with a horse. Okay, tip nine, I guess. Yes. Um... Have a okay, so in the wait, stables, um, like, if you know you're going to be traveling some, 
you should be at least leasing a horse. Because if you know you're going to mm-hmm. be gone, like if your parents are divorced sure. and stuff, you should get to leasing one before. Before you know that there's somebody there to care for your horse while you're gone. And because also when you're leaving, they need to have fresh water and fresh hay every day. Um, well, the fresh water can probably last a week, but they eat their hay really fast because they are obsessed with hay. So you and need to be there. Sticks, like right? if you're going to be there... Like and, and sugar cubes. Yeah. If you're if you're gonna be there for um three days, like no, if you're gonna be gone for like three weeks, you need to make sure somebody's there to care for your horse because the hay and the water is gonna get all chunky and dirty, <laughs> and they're gonna not yeah. gonna have any choky. Choky. <laughs> and they're not gonna have can't any. Can't do it. I'll do it in gonna, the morning. They're not gonna have any more hay, and then like. They won't be able to eat, and they'll probably get very ill, and you won't be able to ride your horse. So you, and they might even pass on. The forever alone. The one thing I have to say about horses is that then I, there'll be a Pegasus in the sky. Yeah, <laughs> you have to read Guardian. Okay, sorry, they have Pegasus in it. Not a sponsor. I we're not sponsoring, but um. Anyway, wait, wait. wait. Okay, this is keep not going. a number. Well, we're on number nine, but this is not a number. Uh, the one thing I don't like about horses is that their nose drip a lot. Yeah. And it's kind You're of You're on gross. book three? Yeah, I'm on book three. Guardian herd. The not best. a sponsor. The best book. Wait, one. pretend like it's a sponsor. A, oh, it has a bound story. Wait, is a bound story? Where's the bound story? Okay, let me tell you the people. Um... I already Nobody cares. Well, I do. You have to read this. It is super good. I okay. Tip. See, River Herd. River Herd. Tip ten. Star is the best character in the tip, book. Tip. Like this is the most important rule. No, that's ten. Yeah. Most important ever. Have fun with your horse. But still make sure you care for it. Except my mom's horse. Her, 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 her horse has the ugliest horse. He looks like an old man mixed with a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's girlfriend. Uh, story time. My dad's girlfriend. Uh, well, that not was Heather. number 10. That was 10. So we're done. Wait! But the story is... Um, his uh, girlfriend um, had horses, and she said that it was the sweetest horse ever. So my dad got on the horse, and it ran into the fence and knocked him off like a sandwich. And, like a sandwich? And so he's really scared of horses now. And I ride horses. But I got him to ride one in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Oh. Um, I like riding horses in Puerto Rico. That was really fun. I had I met some friends there. Costa Rica was fun, too. You have to go to Puerto Rico, even though they have huge Next mass- time we go to Costa Rica, massive even though it's like $1,000 per person, really? I'll bring you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm bringing you to Florida, but if you live in Florida and you're one of Team Toys fans or Tessa D fans or... We'll Emerson, let you know when we're going, Boston. then you can meet us at Disneyland. Uh-huh. No, Disney World. Disney World. Whatever! Say big K. Goodbye, guys. Say bye. <laughs>